Today, we're painting in the wilderness. Today, we are continuing our series of going outside and painting in the wilderness. Now, today we're going to look for a nice grassy area. I'm planning on picking up some of the grass, some of the landscape colors, and putting it onto this canvas. So, without any further ado, my name is Papa P, and the P stands for acrylic wash. No, the P stands for paint. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get to it right now. Not yesterday, right now. So unfortunately the weather looks kind of cough today, so we had to make an alternative plan. So instead of going to a mountain range or a quarry, which has been closed to public today, we are going to a open landscape scenery. We're going to be standing in the middle of the landscape, picking up some colors, and let's see what, what happens. Let's see what inspiration I can draw from this field. So unfortunately, once again we fucked up, forgot something. There's no water in this barren landscape. So again, we have to make a plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to use Pepsi Max to clean up my, my brushes. I uh, don't know if it's going to affect the paint at all. There's some water in this, so let's see what happens. That's just one to uh, prepare his arms. Let's get it. Once again, I needed to make use of Aubrey's arms to hold up my canvas. As for the second week in a row, we forgot our easel. Right off the bat, I was faced with one of my first issues. Using the Pepsi Max as water was a fantastic idea, but it did make the paint a lot stickier and more difficult to work with. My plan with the painting was once again to have no plan. I wanted to make a more lonely painting, a, a face that almost reflected the desolate landscape that we painted in. Now, painting in public has its challenges. Obviously there's wind, there's sand, there's dust, but one of the biggest challenges is always having someone looking at you. As oftentimes when we create these paintings out in public, we do have a bit of an audience behind us. At this step of the painting, I wanted to start adding the color from the desolate landscape around me. I picked up some yellows, I wanted to incorporate the dry grass, and next I wanted to also add some green to show you guys the flourishing landscape around me. Now, most artists will tell you that the majority of times a painting has to look ugly before it looks pretty, and at this section of the painting I felt that the anatomy of the face just didn't work for me, and I had to start adding whites and black to try and get it back on track. It was at this part of the painting when I started liking it again. I added some white to the lip and some more darkness to the side of the face as well as a bit of a highlight on the cheek and finally the painting was starting to look like something. My final step to any one of these paintings is the charcoal. Now what I do with the charcoal is I kind of outline all the unique pieces of the painting to give it more definition. Oftentimes I do feel like it fucks up the painting a bit, but the majority of the times the painting gets pulled together beautifully when I do the outline work. And just like that, the painting has come to a finish. Here we go folks, another day, another painting completed. As I said, we went to the landscape, we took some color from the landscape, I hope you guys liked what the painting looked like. Again, thank you to Aubrey for sacrificing his arms a second week in a row. And he's going to keep doing it because we're going to go to all these different places every week. So next time he might stand in a tsunami, he will still hold the fucking thing. So yeah, let's go home and I'll show you guys the piece. There we go. After a long, long ride, we finally made it back home. And now I can finally show you guys the painting. Let me show you guys some close-ups. Overall, I'm quite happy with how the painting came out. I think the yellows and the greens that I took from the landscape really play in beautifully to make this otherwise dark painting a lot more colorful, give it a lot more life. So there we go. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching, uh, enjoyed seeing the process behind the painting. And again, if you guys like this painting, you guys can just pop me a DM, send me an email, we can chat about it. 
and yeah planning on doing a bunch more of these kind of videos so stay tuned every monday and friday i'm planning on posting at the moment next week monday i'm thinking of doing something like a uh, discovering a new artist kind of thing so yeah stay tuned for that again thank you for all the love and the support the last three videos really did very well in comparison with the rest of the page so i really appreciate that thank you so much so smash that like button subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one a mace much love Boop -dee -dee -scoop -dee -boop. Ooh. Ooh. Boop -dee -dee. Ooh. Ah. Boop-de-dee.